Hello guys, hello guys, hello guys, welcome to another one of my Battle Breakers videos where we're going to be looking into this dude, Castidor Demon Scourge, an archer that has been in the game files for a while that we now finally got in the hero store for 2000 magic tickets. When you buy him, you can evolve into a light or dark version, they work completely differently and well, partially the same but also differently. So I'm going to be dedicating a video to each and every one of them and in this video we're going to be looking into the dark element version because he retaliates which is what we know already from Seraph Ariel something that has been massive in the game. So I'm evolving him now to the max he can be as a dark element archer hero. Dark element archers is something we definitely need so it is really nice just to have that. Plus he looks amazing but all round guys this is a pretty 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 amazing hero that I would like to have had more of. The, like the special skill of this hero deals 15% of target's maximum hit point but it has a cap of 1200 attack point and a cap of 30% when it is max leveled up. It ignores defense and shields so that is, that is pretty cool. The passive ability on the dark element hero here means retaliation but before we dig into it it's an archer meaning that it will reduce armor whenever it basic attacks remember that basic attacks that is what we have on the passive skill health on the dude here is pretty decent okay for an archer the attack is amazing 400 percent affinity default 100 percent mana stuff so nothing really there the cool thing about this hero is that whenever he is attacked he will retaliate and ignore defense so that is really really strong if you are in a ping pong battle against another hero his support, not support, his commander skill supporting fire means that he will boost up by 65% and he will perform a basic attack whenever an ally attacks. He has critical hit chance, a high one, 35% and a 15% chance to dodge. So default archer stuff, but high on the crit rating, which is freaking awesome. Cool thing is that he works amazingly also when not as an archer. Not as an archer, not as a commander, he cannot not be an archer. What am I talking about? But anyway guys, let's dig into 15, no not 15, 7, 22, 11, the Forgotten Lands. Final map in the game to see how Cassidor Demon Scourge works out. I brought in Sun Wukong, I brought in Jillifer, Silent Blade, Sky Pirates and Iron Monkey. Iron Monkey is also a commander here. The cool thing is that whenever another hero performs a special attack, this dude will go cray cray. Silent Blade will also go cray cray when somebody uses a damaging special ability which is something we see with the Iron Monkey and also from Sun Wukong so we can get some pretty cool stuff up and running. I'm starting out with Jillifer the Deceiver to just confuse the opponent giving us board control and now things are rolling. They're gonna be attacking themselves, they're gonna be attacking us a little bit and whenever we use a special ability Cassidor is gonna go cray cray and he ignores defense when he does that. So going Sky Pirate Ferris and we're gonna be seeing Silent Blade and Cassidor both dealing damage. So we can begin to stack up on heroes that attack whenever we do something else and look at the Iron Monkey. The cool thing about the Iron Monkey that is available from the Battle Crystal is that the clones will also use abilities if they have mana. So you can fill the board with clones that will all use a special ability and every time they do that Cassidor will go crazy dealing damage that ignores defense. It is, it is completely bollocks and mind blowing amazing hero with so many cool synergizing options and cool options well that's the stuff you guys are showing me by using my supporter creator code Logan Hansen in the Epic Games Store on the Battle Breakers game. When you're using Logan Hansen a portion of sales goes to me and it lasts for 14 days or until you select another supporter creator. Like basic question, is this a must have hero? No, it's not a must have hero. It is definitely one of the stronger heroes we have in the game, probably like high top tier, but it's not a must have hero. It's, it's not a must have hero. It's a great hero. It's an even better hero if you can pair him with like really good synergies, Silent Blade, another Cassidor, but you need something for mana, you need something for survivability, you need a lot of stuff and a Dark Element Archer is not a required thing in the game, but it is a very very nice thing to have, so if you can spare 
the only 2,000 magic tickets that the Cassidor hero cost in the hero store. I don't know why it's only 2,000. Normally they are 5,000, so it is a bargain, it is a steal. Definitely, if you can, get both. I'm gonna be looking into the light element version of the hero in another video right now where we're just playing with this dude, so we're taking them a little bit standalone to see how they perform in a group. Alright, Gabriel, you are getting Cassidored. Oh, <laughs> yes, you are. Getting Cassidored, it is now a thing. But first, you're getting jillied. You're getting jillied for it like that. Everything can't be freaking fused. And yeah, I'm a little afraid of getting things back in my face, but it looks like we're gonna make it like that. He is still going cray cray, which is the most important thing. He took a, he took a beating, but um, he is definitely packing his punch and the damage numbers are real. So he is definitely worth including in a run like this in Forgotten Lands 2211. All right, guys, heading into some PVP, just setting up my group here with Cassidor Demon Scourge, going in to see how how is he in the PVP dual system. It's not much of a hero. I don't hero. It's not much of a secret. I don't play it that much because the rewards are just junk. But the base concept for me playing in here is gonna be confusing with Jellyfur. If I can confuse again or load up Ariel and then confuse again and Cassidor is going to be attacking each and every time I do anything because that is how he works. Whenever I use a special ability, he's gonna be getting a free attack. It doesn't matter if he is on a cooldown or not. He's just gonna be spanking left, right and pretty much everywhere in the game. Even when I heal with Lifebringer's Celestia, which is kind of fun. Now we can finish things off by healing with Celestia and making Cassidor attack. I, I think that is simply priceless. So I'm that alone makes the hero worth getting. <laughs> Honestly, it, it is a really great hero, really, really great hero, not a hero that will carry you in PvP duels. He is not a match for Seraph Ariel. I've been digging into the numbers and even though his attacks ignore defense and his basic attack will allow him to take a hero such as Seraph Ariel and make her go into a negative defense to take even more damage. If they pit up against each other in a retaliation battle, which is what I hope to find in the duel here, that's what I'm like aiming for, hoping to include in this video. If they are going to be pit up against each, whoa, <laughs> double confused. Um, but anyway, if that happens, he's gonna die and she's gonna win because of her constant healing. She should end up taking him out. She deals more damage, even more damage to Dark Element heroes, and she heals up. So I think. In a one-on-one -on -one battle between the Dark Element Cassidor and Seraph Ariel, she is gonna be the victorious one, but we shall see. Let me know guys in the comments if you guys want me to put Cassidor as a rep hero. If you want to be playing around with him, I will gladly do that. Oh, we have her. Now it's time to get uh, to get Jacob with oh and Warlord Luvu. Wow, this is gonna be a cool battle. Wow, that is really cool. So we have and we have Mira <laughs> and we have Lady Sun. Okay, well, they are now confused. And should I just load up here and attack? Yeah, we need to clear things out a little bit. Ariel is gonna be the last hero standing on the opponent side. I am sure of it. Even even like Lubu, even though he buffs up and stuff, we can ignore the defense with Cassidor. So it's, it's not gonna be much of a problem <laughs> unless Ariel spanks him. That is actually a chance. Like the opponent's Ariel might actually take him out, but we will see. We will see. So come on. Come on. Yeah. All right. We're almost there. We're almost there. And now the opponent's Ariel is, of course, damaged. And she's not going into an infinite loop of attacking herself, which is a shame. That would have been fun. But yeah, this is where it all happens. So die, Lubu, so we can pit up Ariel against Cassidor. All right. Come on, man. There we have it. All right. So time to go cray cray. Let's see how many attacks we lost. Look at that. She is max healing and he's already gone. He's already gone. That is how strong Seraph Ariel is. My Cassidor was maxed. Elixir's gear. I maxed level. She just spanked him in a few attacks. So anyway, guys, that was what I had to share in this video. Cassidor Demon Scourge, the new 
Hero Shop Hero. I hope you enjoyed. As always, thank you very much for watching, liking, subscribing, sharing. I absolutely love you guys.